What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald, from Bank of Gerald, here with another video update. Today, we're going to talk about that hype we've been in for, I think it's on 19 days today? Is it on 19? We'll find out. We're talking about Fast 10. That's right, Fast10.com. We're going to talk about it. It's been through some things the last few days, and we haven't necessarily talked about, well, I won't say the last few days, the last day, the last 24 hours. It was going through a little bit, and we're going to talk about what it was going through and also what I've been able to do in the midst of that, all right? With that being said, I want to remind everyone that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube that's showing you guys how I'm growing and cranking that crypto out of many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less. But if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified about everything going on here at BLJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well, but only if you want to be updated, all right? Don't press it if you don't want to hear from me, all right? <laughs> let's go about, let's, let's talk about Fast 10. Now, I do have a bit of a balance here. I'm not sure exactly how much I can pull out right off first glance. Might be able to pull out some Litecoin, um, but I think that's it. I did, I have a confession to make. I did make a withdrawal earlier today of over $200. So I already did my big withdrawal off camera I was just on my phone tinkering around, and I pulled out that 246. I got the batch ID, as you can see right there, and that's been great. But let me go. I want to go and address some of the things that's been going on and issues people have been having. And I did experience this one time yesterday. I had a small balance of like $26 in Bitcoin, and I wanted to pull it out, and it said to me, save. Now, usually when I see saved, that's like, uh-oh, wave the red flag, right? But I want to show you guys. In the Telegram group, they have been updating you, updating us this whole time on everything going on. And some hypes won't even do this, okay? So I want to go through these pin messages here. And we're going to start from... We're going to start from, from um, pin message 10. All right, they're just um, we're going to start from where they addressed the pay uh, withdrawal issue, okay? okay? So people were having withdrawal issues. It was going into save and stuff like that. And it says, we have found out the withdrawal issue. The problem is from PayCasa withdrawal system. It's not from Fast10 server, but from PayCasa server. But I have sent an email to them. So what that means is they have been in contact with PayCasa. I've heard of PayCasa before. And they've been in contact with PayCasa for their payment processing. And PayCasa is the reason why they haven't been able to with, do their normal withdrawals for people. All right? It says it's not from Fast 10 server, from PayCasa. It says, please, I want you all to be patient because um, uh, that where we, our payout funds are allocated. So please, hold on. <laughs> that's a lot. Please, I want you all to be patient because that's where our payout funds were allocated. Okay, so he's talking about PayCasa. Uh, his payout, their payout funds were allocated at PayCasa, so please, you all shouldn't be upset. I want to switch to another coin payment uh, processor in a few minutes, so please wait while I work, all right? So that was good. He went to work. So then I'm going to try to find the next pin message because they were keeping us updated. Of course, you can see right here, right? This is what it looks like when some, something gets saved, right? It'll go green or something like that and then it says hello all we have found the oh no that's still the same message so they were still updating that was that was at 10 p.m on the 31st yesterday all right so let's keep moving let's keep moving All right. It says, hello, all. We have received mail. This is at 5.47 p, uh, a.m. this morning. It says, we have received mail from PayCasa. They have fixed it, so now everything is back to normal. Once again, I'm truly sorry if we ever made you guys upset. Apologies. We are honest and experienced admins with good records to achieve success. Right now, we are back on track, so please spread the good words around. Lest I forget, happy New Year's to you all. What a crazy New Year experience. So they're getting, they were getting their New Year started off right. There was a lot of FUD going on in the space. 
and it really started to damper their start of the year. But you know what? They fixed the problem. They worked with Pecos and figured it out. And I'm glad to hear it because my payment got an instant batch ID the last time I did it. The last pin message they, that they have is just a reminder. It says, hello all, please do not send deposit to any third party address. We will not be responsible for such action. You are expecting to go through Fast 10 deposit page to create deposits, all right? So that's just common sense. Only deposit through the Fast 10 page itself. Don't use any other third parties. Nobody hitting you on Telegram, nothing like that. Don't do it because it's most likely a scam. It's about 100% a scam if you're not using the platform to make a deposit, all right? And uh, that's it. That's it for the Telegram news. Um, I don't have, let me just see if I can pull this Litecoin out real quickly. But I wanted to share that with you guys because a few of you guys were experiencing some issues yesterday. And, of course, they got solved. But... Justin, oh, I got another little bit of, I got $42 here that I can pull out in Bitcoin, all right? That must have just happened while I was on here with y'all. So let's see if we can't get an instant batch ID from this right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom, there it is. All right, let's see if we can take this Litecoin out. 14, 12. Let's see. Will it let us? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Will we get a batch ID? One thing I love about Litecoin is usually in these platforms, it doesn't take as much Litecoin to pull. Like Bitcoin and Ethereum usually take like $20, $30, $50 sometimes to pull out. Um, Litecoin is usually always low, all right? And it's still just as liquid as any uh, any one of the other cryptos, all right? Um, I don't think I can take this this tether out. I'm gonna try, but I don't believe that I can. Oh no, that's too much. Why is it doing that? It just wants it to be what it wants it to be. Okay, I had to be more than thirty dollars. All right. So before we get out of here, let's run through some stats of Fat 10. Fat, <laughs> Fat 10. Fast 10. It's a daily forever. We all know that daily forevers do not last forever, but that does not mean that we can't crank them while they're here. This is living proof of that. All right. I've been talking about that a lot. This plan, this platform is a living proof that you actually can crank out that crypto from a daily forever. All right. It's been around 19 days, all right? This is getting on the long end for a hype, but it's still doing its thing. Look how many deposits. It's $1.8 million at this point, and it hasn't reached a million dollars in withdrawals yet. 17,500 total accounts, and the numbers just keep on going up. There is not a person in the top investors that has not taken advantage of this 12% plan. Who knows how long this platform is going to last? Like I say all the time, this could be here today and gone tomorrow. And I really do mean that, okay? So the longer you wait, you know, this is day 19, the longer you wait, the riskier it gets. That's just the nature of the beast, all right? If you're a link sharer, you can always get your capital back a little bit faster. You could do first level 6%. Well, this, it happens anyway. It's not that you can do it. it the choice is yours to share. But what the referral commission has in store for you, if you do share, is 6% on the first level, 2% on the second level, and 1% on the third. All right, here's what they take. Perfect money, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dash, XRP, um, Bitcoin Cash, Doge, Tether, Tron, XLM, and BNB. Whew, that was hard. All right, and don't forget to get in the Telegram group. Don't raise hell. Don't raise hell in the Telegram group because they'll probably kick you out, all right? And if you get kicked out, I mean, there's nothing I can do anyway, but there's, then, there, then there's nothing that you can do if you get kicked out, all right? I will see y'all on the next one. This is Fast 10. Um, it's still thriving. It ain't bull jiving. It's giving batch IDs. It went through its little bit of a bull jive season for a couple hours, and it fixed the issues fairly, fairly quickly. So we're impressed by that here at BOJ, all right? 
If you like this content, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to be notified about everything going on here at BLJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you because crypto is the wild, wild west. And if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. I will see you all in the next video. We got a lot to talk about today. So we're going to move through this, and I'm going to get this info out for you guys so you guys can go out there and do what y'all do. But I didn't tell you to do it. All right? Peace out.